Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Jacob Dev. Today we're gonna talk about how to build Olama on Kego GPU the right way so you can use it to integrate with any local AI coder client like Ader, uh, Bolt.new or uh, Cloud Dev, which is now called Climb. So that being said, let's get started. So first let's go to Kego.com. Let's create a notebook, it's called Olama Public. So because this is gonna use as a public service, um, so then you basically just create a function to run bash command within Python and install Olama as usual, just using one line command. And after that, make sure you um, set some of the environment for Olama. Olama host set to 0000, zero, zero, zero and Olama origin set to start. So means the uh, Olama service can take any traffic. Okay. And then after that, make sure you spin up Olama using Olama serve and make sure that's spin up in the backend. And after that, you can see Olama is on this GPU. Okay. And next, we're going to create a, a file. It's called model file. Uh, and then you can name it whatever you want, like a model file 3 in this case. And make sure you set the uh, context size to bigger than uh, the default one, which is a 2048. Um, so we can set it larger so that you can actually have more context in the question you ask Olama or ask the models in Olama. So for this example, we use Llama 3.2. So you can create a model file 3. Uh, by default, it's going to use Llama 3.2 with context length 32768. Okay. And next, we're going to download two models. One is Q1 2.5 14B. I think you guys are already familiar with that. It's a very good coding and general model from Alibaba. And next, we're going to create another um, model from Llama 3.2 with larger context length. And it's called Llama 3.2-extra-ctx. Uh, so after we get these two models, uh, we just do a Llama list to make sure that they exist. Um, and next, we're going to set up engines. This is a very critical part of this whole Olama public service. So first, you just install uh, Nginx using apt install. After that, uh, just uh, write a Nginx configuration file, say Olama SVC. And make sure that you're listening on port 80 and with the server name as ungrokfree.app uh, because we're going to use ungrok. So just use this um, star, uh, which is a wildcard for ungrokfree app. And after that, make sure the 80 is going to route the traffic to the local host 11434, which is the Olama default port. After that, uh, just install ungrok. Here's ungrok and in pip so after that make sure you get the ungrok token from ungrok console and paste it in here okay and after that uh, just make sure uh, you connect ungrok with local host 80 which is where nginx is running and you can see from here this is connecting a ungrok public url a 95cf and to the local host 80 so which you can see is running here so it says olama is running so after that, just make sure that you start and stop Nginx. Um, basically, it's going to uh, start Nginx after all, everything is set up. So uh, the Ungrog public URL is going to point to this Nginx. So make sure Nginx is running. So you can see the Nginx status is running. Okay. And that's about it. So make sure uh, you connect uh, Nginx with Olama so you can access Kego GPU. If you don't use Nginx or Fast API, as we talked about in the previous videos, then you will not be able to leverage uh, Kego GPU uh, if you connect it publicly. So, and that being said, let's go to um, this Olama public URL. So basically, it says Olama is running, and you can check the models. Go to API.txt. You can see the models. That's already installed in Llama is Q1 2.5 14B and the customized one, which is Llama 3.2 extra context. So, which means this is working. So, let's use this URL, uh, which is use the uh, public Llama service to one of the uh, AI coders that we uh, installed locally. So, in today's demo, we're going to use it with Ader and Client. Okay, so 
Let's go to the uh, Visual Studio to check that out. So here uh, we just uh, do export Olama public URL, which is Olama API base, to this uh, public Olama service that we just created, and make sure uh, the editor is using the Olama Q1 2.5 14B model. You can choose any model you want, but as you can see that we also installed Q1 2.0 14B and Llama 3.2 actual context. Uh, so uh, just use the Q1 2.5 14B. Uh, it's a good one. And also let's just hit enter. You will answer three questions. Just set no. And then you just say, okay, let's write some programs. Let's say create a snake game using Python that runs in terminal. Okay, and hit enter. So just wait a bit um, and then you should be able to see it's working. Create new file, yes. You can see the file is created on the right side. Okay, let's exit the program and test it out. You can see uh, it's created a snake game Python file. Let's say snake game.py. Let's run that. Okay, you can see it is working perfectly. Okay, it's very nice. Okay, let's finish this program. Um, so hopefully you can see that uh, the public Olama URL is working with Ada. So next, we're going to test with Climb. So we already installed Climb. You can install Climb through the Visual Studio extensions and then just go to this icon, which is the Climb um, extension. So and then copy paste the URL uh, that you use the same with the uh, Ada, so which is 95 CF. Just copy the public URL and select the provider as Olama. And then the model ID, just use Olama 3.2 extra context because uh, Q1 2.5 14B doesn't work with client. Um, so we use Llama 3.2 in this case. And then just click uh, down when you finish the configuration and start asking questions. So let's say create a snake game. Use the same question using Python that runs in terminal. So you can see client is also working. Okay, so uh, this is a demo to show you that uh, how to set up Olama service with Keiko GPU the best way. So you can use it to work with all your local Ader or client or both new client that on a PC without any GPU. So the regular PC with the CPU should work. So hopefully this video is helpful. And if you do like this video, please subscribe, like, or comment if you have any questions. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. See you in the next one.